Runk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, dude? I was at a show the other day, and I was doing a meet and greet, and this guy came up to me, and he was like, nice to meet you, man. And he says, these sunglasses, original grain. Boom. That's what he did. And there are these, dude. So check it out, Original Green. And he was styling, man. Those look good. Look, the favorites are all still here, but they sent us a brand new Burlwood Silver 44 millimeter chrono, dude. And uh, Whoa, look at that bad boy. Yeah. Damn. You know, it's got some weight to it. And uh, this thing's it's in the way. It's got some the, beef on it. The, the tag. Uh, yeah, it's got some weight to it. You look like a real man. The, the, look, look at how carefully the sleeve just folds on over Damn. it. Damn. So look. It's made of rare and rugged burlwood. Larger watch face, great blend of style and functionality. And it comes with a stopwatch timing system and a calendar date function. What else could you need? Um, so it can be engraved with a personalized message. It's perfect for Christmas, weddings, anniversaries, birthdays. And uh, goes perfect to pair with our burlwood silver tungsten ring. Uh these are back in stock. They sold out immediately. And they did it with our listeners. So this is how you do it. You uh, go to originalgrain.com slash lifeline, and you type in the code lifeline to get 30% off site-wide. That's 30% off, wow. all right? That's a lot percent off. That's code lifeline at originalgrain.com slash lifeline to get 30% off site-wide. Woo! And the link is in the description below in the show notes. So if you don't want to type it in, go click that. Lifeline is an advice show for entertainment purposes only. If you need real help or advice, please seek a therapist or a licensed professional. And welcome back to Lifeline, the show. It's not welcome back. To, I mean, I guess welcome back if you're a, an avid listener, but also we didn't start yet. So we're starting now. So you don't say welcome back. So you just say welcome and to Lifeline. And welcome back to Lifeline, so the like, show. So you like to be shitty. No. You, everyone watches. Okay. And you have, then why don't we have 7 billion views on YouTube? YouTube is shadow banning us. Well, so that, that means that they're not being seen. No, they're lying. They're, they're, they're lying they're that fixing it counts. It. Okay. The so fix it's the number in. one show in the world. The fix is in, yeah. Got it, okay. You have two purple hats now. I do, they're you, growing. You, you, so what, the deal is you have too much of whatever you're doing. Remember the, the too many drinks thing? Uh, and then we curbed that. Uh, and now you have too many purple hats. Uh, Master okay, P, but Master I've, P. <laughs> I've let it be known that I only wear purple uh, no, now. I know that. Except on weekends and holidays. That's fine. And that has expanded into the worst more cult purple leader. stuff. The worst cult leader. I'm not a cult leader, but you I'm don't just a man. That's what cult leaders say. <laughs> yeah, they do. They do. They do. So look, guys, let me just get into it. The Don't Push Me Tour. It's live. January. We are doing so many freaking dates. It's unbelievable, dude. February, March. We got Chicago. We got New York. We got fucking San Diego. We just added a show in San Diego because the fucking the demand is there. <laughs> We're doing so Spring, nervous. Springfield, Missouri. Where the fuck is it? But we're doing it. And um, we're doing a bunch of different uh, places. So what do you think about that? Midland, Texas. What the fuck? Savannah, Georgia. Raleigh, North Carolina. What the fuck? Lakeland, Florida. What the fuck? Constantly getting surprised. Okay. <laughs> so, But the- go to chrislea.com to get your tickets. The good seats are filling up. And let's do it, my babies. You know what? You know what show has all good seats? The mm-hmm. fucking Lifeline Live, yeah, first ever Lifeline Live show. That's B Day show. On my birthday, get your tickets. October nineteenth, six, 6 p.m. PM whoops, Pacific. whoops. Uh, six p.m. Pacific Tourette's. time. Whoops. Tourette's. And you know that's how we're doing it. So we're gonna the, get the, you live. The link is in the uh, comments below. So go click on that link or go to watchlifeline.com and let's do it up then you get a ticket and we provide if you want secret one-on-one private advice you go to mattdelia.com mm-hmm. you book a private session mm-hmm. with your pimp and pimp and purple boy matt delia that's me or well 20 or 40 minutes a thursday in the 80s. or tuesday whichever one you want you book it on there i tell you what to do you live a life that is very very happy from then on dude the a w a wwf 80s wrestler the pimp and pimp and purple what is it purple boy yeah the pimp, 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 purple boy a, a, a fucking a pimp, 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 purple boy versus <laughs> hacksaw jim duggan tonight on raw 
Oh, uh, yeah. And it's you? Yeah. <laughs> I hats. would be so good at that. With two hats? Uh-oh, yeah. he's changing his hats. Oh, that's my special move. Uh-oh, he's changing his hats. You know what that means? You go like this. <laughs> Everyone goes, ah, ah, no, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so um, so that's what's up, and we're having a good time here on Lifeline. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, what and the fuck? And it's getting breezy out, right? What it's getting cold. Fuck? That's your new thing? Yeah, maybe. You say what the fuck? Yeah, it's getting cold. Last oh. night was real windy. I went outside, and I was like, whoa. No, that's crazy. Dude. No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's crazy that it happened, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. so it is It is finally uh, cool out. At long last. That's why I got a beanie on. And yeah. you know what's cool is that now Calvin's at the age where he kind of knows what's going on, and Halloween's coming, and... Uh, Christmas is coming and he knows what's up. Like I say, you know Santa's coming. Do you want to have presents? And he goes like that. Like he wants presents. He's real wide eyed about it. Yeah. And I said, what do you want to be for Halloween? And he says, a purple people eater. He wants to be a purple people eater, by the way. You could probably give him some. Yeah. He loves that song from the He 50s. should get a load of me. Yeah. He does get a load of you. He says, Unga map. Unga map. Map? Really? Map. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Well, he doesn't. Now he says Matt a little bit clearer, but he used to say Unga map so he asked me what the, he was like what is this and he held something up it was styrofoam and i said styrofoam and i said oh it's styrofoam and he said styrofoam and i'm like that's cute and i was like it's like uh, ah whatever and then i left to give him the like you know what we i bet we know at least a dozen people that's that Still think it's styrofoam it. wow dude you know what i mean that's so dumb it's unique to people we know we know truly some of the dumbest motherfuckers I know. on earth dude i love dumb people <laughs> yeah because then you stand out because you don't seem as dumb Booyah. But that's not true. Booyah and booyah. That's not true. Do you know why? Because, dude, when I'm hanging out, I just want to chill, dude. Mm. I don't want to talk about fucking shit that matters. I want to talk about cargo pants and just like, you know, what kind of fucking turkey do you eat? And like, that's what makes you dumb. No, I'm booyah, not dumb. Booyah, booyah, and booyah. From the rubs, purple people boy. <laughs> purple, purple boy. Pimp, purple, purple, pimple boy. Having um, a fucking stroke. I think, <laughs> dude, <laughs> I think that it's not that and i'm not dumb and i'm actually smart and i'm so smart that i don't need to talk about the smart stuff because i already realized it so let's get into some cargo pants from the top ropes okay the thing about you you're this right. guy you are not dumb what's tragic Thank about you, you and is that it. you so let's get into it seem dumb because you don't apply yourself booyah booyah and booyah that's so fucking annoying <laughs> but i'll tell you this much dude none of that's true i fucking just apply myself and, you know, when I do stand up, I, I excel because I do it and I, I'm very good. I'm very good with you my are, words. You're very. And I perform. Very, very good at that because it's Thank instant you. gratification. You couldn't do anything possibly that required a little bit, even medium term gratification. It has to be instant, immediate gratification or else you won't apply yourself because you don't see the longer term or me even medium term goals as viable. <laughs> the closest shot ever. Dancing, fighting, and holy faces, <laughs> running, chases, running, slashing. Not the words. Not even words. <laughs> and it can it kind of funny. Rankin Tony sad. Rankin Tiny sad. Mad world. Mad world. Worst shot of all fucking time. <laughs> Dude, camera hits your eyeballs face. are great, man. Darren Aragon yeah. on Aronofsky Drunk. does it. Yeah, Aaron, 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 Darren Aronofsky. Yeah, Darren Aronofsky. Um, I saw fucking Hellraiser, the new one. Then saw, you know how I do it. <clears throat> if you're a fucking, my brother, what did I do after I saw the fucking new Hellraiser? You saw the first one and then even all of the ones in between, which you probably didn't because that would have taken you 48 years because there's... 30,000 yeah, Hellraiser There's 11 movies. Hellraisers. Yeah, this 11 is the 11th Hellraisers. one or this is the 12th one? This is the 11th one. Now, were you saying the original is not good? It doesn't hold up? It's just like, yeah. It, 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 I mean, Okay, well, you're wrong. I mean, I, look, I like the idea a lot. Yeah, I it's think a great the idea. idea is great. The concept is awesome. Yeah. It's just, it's not something that is really that good. I, I agree with that. Yeah. But the first one, I mean, I haven't seen all of them, granted, but... I think of the ones I've seen, the first one is the best one, just because mm. the premise is like new and they're exploring it for yeah. the first time and it's not anything like, they're right. not like forcing it, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, they're not forcing it, that's for sure. But also that was when SNM was like kind of a thing that was like, what the fuck is this? Right, And right, then so right, they, right, they made right. this whole like, you know, these people from a different dimension that like pain is pleasure and shit and they also, can't tell the difference. And Also those, those demons are fucking fucked up and scary. Really well done, yeah. yeah. Like, 
bro horror i mean they can do it really well um but the thing is is like after the first one the second one it it, it gives you a little bit more insight into it so the second one was like okay so i'm like this watching the second one i'm like mm-hmm. 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 the third one then in 1992 it's a fan favorite but i go like this i just don't sing so oh yeah. yeah i'm not i'm not into that one dude i mean it was 1992 and i was just like ah, i don't know it was a good year though for movies in general yeah i know and the woman in that is so hot unbelievable okay but in Hellraiser why 3. is it Ashton don't sing so because it's so 90s and like camp kind of i like honestly. 90s though i know i like 90s too dude you're talking to a 90s boy i mean you're talking to a sincere 90s boy i, I mean like- i look at the 90s and i go like this okay yeah now we're talking yeah but you don't like that much shit from the 90s no nah. i do Nah, I do. I do. And frankly, I tell it like it is. All right. So <laughs> speaking look. of Hellraiser. Mama Mesa Hellraiser. That's speaking, of Hellraiser uh-huh. speaking of Hellraiser, speaking of the first part of that word, hell, yeah. Hollywood, California, you know, you know what it is? Yeah. Hollywood, California has turned into hell. Much, I sound like I'm a hell. fucking anchor on Fox News, but I it's know, true. But it, you can't I turn know. around on any street and not run into either a fucking massive encampment with crazy people circling around mm-hmm. or a burnt down encampment where people are just sitting around like it's a fucking picnic, okay? The other day I was Hollywood fucking, just... I was driving through, and this wasn't even deep in Hollywood. This is pretty far east, which is where I usually am if I'm oh, in Hollywood east, at all. <clears throat> yeah. And I stop at a red light and I and I see a crazy person. And, and how do you know she's crazy? Crazy, crazy eyes. She got the crazy eyes that are like, look, they look like they're looking different ways, okay. even though that's not Because you're not possible. a doctor, but you're saying. Okay. And she's walking jagged, zigzaggy. Okay. She could be drunk, okay. but okay. You're, okay. And I'll here's the it. real telltale. This is how you know. They walk exactly when they're not supposed to, <laughs> and they don't, like when they cross the street. Yeah. They cross the street exactly when it says not to. Right. And they stay put exactly when it says to cross the street. Okay. Now, then now I buy that. Now, here's crazy. another way I okay. knew. Because I saw her come and I thought, oh great, she's probably gonna fuck with me because that's the story of my life. Who does she fuck with? Me. She stands right in front of my car. Now it's a green light. Okay. And she's going like this. I mean, fucking uh, all right. Harry Potter. And her eyes are all going all different directions. Voldemort. But here's the crazy part. Drunk Voldemort. She had no shirt on. Like a bra? No. No like, shirt or bra. Like t- Just the taters were out. Tannin having a day, dude. And when she was doing this shit, the booze would go and fluctuate with well, it. Well, I know how booze bounce so when you move. Brun dun dun. Brun dun dun. So she'd go, and her tips would go, brun dun dun, brun dun dun. And she'd go, wow. Brun dun dun, brun dun dun. Was it hot at all? Uh, was it hot to yeah. look at? Or was it? No, it was hot outside. No, but was it sexy? I mean, her tits were out. Don't be gross, I'm dude. Not be, I'm the one that's gross. She's in the middle of the street with a fucking- No, she's gross. I'm saying, of course it wasn't like sexy. I know. I don't think it was, but I'm wondering if you think it was. She looked strangely not at all dirty too. Like usually- Were you sure it was a homeless person or just a French person? <laughs> she thought she was at a nude beach? Yeah. No, she was crazy. You could tell the look in her eye. Okay, so she was going like this. At me though, and pointing t- at jiggling. me, you know? And then when she finally- moved then on what? she just she just did one of these like like it was like it was me who was the crazy one she went like this <sighs> and they just kept walking oh that's the true sign of crazy like when i you felt think other like are i crazy. yeah like i failed to live up to my end of the bargain <laughs> you know what i mean she's just like this <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to jump <laughs> <laughs> i wish i knew what i was supposed to do yeah, i would have yeah. thrown it back but all i did was this. i swear to god all i did was this yeah 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 well what can you do when they're shaking it i was trying to not like i wanted I didn't know what she was doing, but I wanted her to know I wasn't like disapproving or angry or grossed out, mm-hmm. even though I kind of was all of those things. What if she did that and you just go like, and then you were like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So you just went like this. What do you think she would have done? Like fucking, oh, I fucking, I, don't, I knew it. I don't think she would have even magical. fucking noticed, honestly. To oh, be perfect, yeah, 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 yeah. you know? Yeah. Okay. Well, and that's how I roll. That's a shame. I've seen na- naked homeless people before. It's crazy. Dude, I saw a guy in LA once, and this was before the pandemic and everything went to shit, but I saw a guy walking down the street just dick out naked no clothes like he was shopping just like at target right, right. just walking like kind of swinging his arms a little bit just fat and was just he, walking down the street and i'm driving i go oh my god dude so wait he wasn't uh like a crazy nudist he was a, he was a homeless person. he had to be crazy but it, he did not look crazy right maybe if he, he was, was just walking with clothes on would not have thought he was crazy so you saw his damn boss flapping oh yeah oh, okay, okay okay i drove by and i was like no yeah and then you and he turned around and drove back Took here's pictures. the deal if Took i was pictures. A, and what? And you, and you took pictures. Yeah. If I was a cop, and th- and and that happened, yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. Bro. Go ahead. Yeah. You didn't see it. No. No freeze. No. no I'm no. not. 
I mean, imagine freeze because he's naked. You freeze. Know? Put your dick in the air. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I used to live downtown, and dude, the shit I've seen. Oh my god! One time, just one more time before we get into yeah. the shit. Uh, we like the banter. When it's I okay. used to smoke, there was a fucking crazy woman across the street. There was uh -huh. a little grassy park across mm -hmm. the street from my building, mm -hmm. and she, and I walk out, and I'm talking to a friend of mine out there, and she fucking surprises me, comes out of nowhere, mm -hmm. and she just goes, nah, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. and I was like, oh my fucking god yeah and then i i'm looking at her now because i didn't see her coming up it was like she was a ninja yeah and but she's close as hell right she's oh like, wow yeah they're yeah they get close, close right? yeah and so she, and, and, I, and i say what and she goes nah, say not. Ooh. and i'm smoking and i realize okay she's probably asking oh. for a cigarette and i say you wow, want you a cigarette the, okay and she goes nah Sounds and like i was no like to me. okay i don't know what you're doing yeah. you know so i kept talking to my friend and then she starts like doing this like kicking her feet up like a bull okay. like she's ready to come <laughs> at me and i'm like well she's not gonna fucking hurt me right you know what i mean so like whatever oh. uh and i know and i back up enough to notice her pants are around her ankles oh. and her fucking all of her business is just out oh my. loud and proud right and then i'm like oh and i kind of step back like just in shock yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and then she gets like offended that i step back in shock yeah. and she starts coming like ah, oh my god ah, oh my god ah. but she couldn't take big steps because her feet were yeah, under yeah, her yeah, yeah, and i was like yeah. coming back i was like stop yeah, stop. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like laughing, yeah. and it was just real depressing. I, I gave her a cigarette though. Was it sexy? It was real hot. We dated for was a few years, hot? dude. You, also, you didn't really try to get away. If she couldn't take big steps, you could have just fucking ran. I was just slowly backpedaling, you laughing. Kind of wanted it. You kind of wanted some. I was enjoying. Play, it. You wanted to get. I was thinking about like telling you and telling people that. Oh it no, 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 no! Oh no! <laughs> just in place. Yeah, 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 yeah. You take your pants out too. I can't go either. Um, <laughs> so yeah. maybe was it was it a Cenobite? Could have been that woman though. Yeah, was filthy, like layers of layers of layers of dirt on her, like the okay. woman or the, the thing clean, behind clean with the tits behind, woman clean behind the dumpster in Mulholland yeah. Drive. Oh That's what wow, she looked like. dude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get into it. That was a lot of banter, but we hope you liked <laughs> it. We don't really care, but we had a good time. So let's go to some lifeline in the news, guys. Yeah. Here we go, Matt. Why don't you read it? A man claiming to be a Russian astronaut in space allegedly scammed a Japanese woman into paying for his return trip to Earth, vowing to marry her once he landed. This is from Vice. Believing this man would be her future fiance, the woman paid him about 4.4 million yen, about thirty thousand dollars, in five installments, from August 19th to September 5th. The Japanese newspaper Yomiuri Shimbun reported, but when his demands continued, the woman grew suspicious of his intent and reported him to the police, who are investigating the case as a romance scam, local media reported. A romance scam? Intergalactic How? romance scam. Dude. Dumb. Intergalactic romance scam. Romance scam, intergalactic. Dude, I, 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 this is the thing, dude. Scams are are shitty. You can prey on people and make them scams. Like I watched this HBO Max fucking documentary on scammers, and these guys really go out of their way to make people feel like, you know, comfortable and yeah. good at giving money and shit like that. Those people, uh, you know, those people deserve to pay some sort of penalty or whatever. This guy, yeah, figured it out. She should pay some penalty for being so fucking dim hello i am in space i need to get home i need uh, uh, you know rubles or whatever the fuck the rubles yeah. whatever the fucking russian money is yen for 4.4 yen? million yen oh it's japanese she was in japan oh my god dude yeah the, like imagine this guy just like <laughs> <laughs> if i only had thirty thousand dollars <laughs> and also how did he find this woman like yeah here's the thing about be the the scammers, whatever. Obviously, they're fucking he villains. They have fucking service up there. But the people who get scammed. Was it on Zoom? Yeah. The don't get scammed, dude. Oh, dude, you it was the dumb Zoom. Dumbass fuck. Dude, it was the Zoom with the space background that you right, can fucking right, right, load. Right, right, he's yeah. just like this. He's just like this. Doing it like this. Like, like having the wallet float, yeah. float so he can't see his hand. Yeah, he's really just some, in Moscow somewhere. You know what I mean? Oh my God, I saw alien. I need five grand. <laughs> <laughs> I need five grand. The alien allergic to yen. <laughs> Please, need rubles, need anything you need. Yeah, I mean, the advice here is Any flat bottom line. Anybody who emails you that you don't know, yeah, no. you do not For give them anything, information or money. Even further, further than that, the advice is never trust somebody on the internet, yeah. period. Yeah, yeah, Even yeah, someone yeah. you do know, because it might not be them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if they yeah. want money, no. This is crazy, dude. How are the cops going to get him, though, in outer space? It's hard. It's hard. It's the like intergalactic this. police Freeze! force. <laughs> He's like this. Yeah. He's going to get away, dude. 
Fucking. <laughs> so fucking stupid. I mean, it taking, it's taking so long because the space is slow. That's you know? the bullet. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> Next one from right, the Guardian. We'll do one more New York University. Oh, I fucking read about this. New York University professor fired after students say his class was too hard. That's great. Maitland Jones Jr., a professor of organic chemistry, was fired by NYU after more than 80 students from his 350 student course signed a petition complaining about grades, teaching, and help received during the COVID pandemic. Dude. I, the complaining at, about school by students, especially when it's about class being too hard, mm. is the fucking most annoying thing. On top of which, the fucking uh, administration fired his ass. That's crazy. Also, it's NYU. Dude. I know. It's a it's a fucking it's supposed ho- to be hard. I know. It's college. It's NYU. And dude, it was like imagine if these, this was like a doctor, like a doctor class for fucking med school. It'd be like it's too hard, and then people would just fucking oot. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Ooh. No, that these people are probably pre-med. Some of them. I know. The thing about this shit is like this is. I've said this for a while, dude. The customer is always right. Mentality. Yeah. Is driving our society into the fucking ground. Yeah, it's dude. good. The customer is fucking r- rarely right. Yeah, dude. Yeah. The customer's never right. Yeah, customer's never right. So uh, I think it's crazy. I think the vice is stay in school and don't complain about it. Or uh, fucking don't try to get it. These petitions are fucking annoying as shit. So, oh, 80 people signed something? Yeah, out of 350, that's not even close to half. 80 people signed something about the school being too... Co- Imagine being this fucking poor guy. Also, if you don't want a thing to be hard, don't study organic chemistry. Study it, like take chemistry? clowning 101 wow, or some shit. dude. Imagine like, this clowning ca- class is too hard. I'm going around here. <laughs> like, dude, I, 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 I swear to God, I, I, I really, really, really knew I was inside a fucking box and the guy said I wasn't inside a box and gave me a D and I think it's amazing. I mean, check this out, dude. Yeah, well, no, nobody would fail someone that does that. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Sign it. Did you All do right. clowning? Yeah. Yeah. That's what's it's so obvious. good. The class, yeah. class was so hard. I didn't complain. And now look, dude. Yeah. Now look at you. Yeah. This is where this is where not complaining gets you, folks. Yeah, dude. Look at this. Oh, what? What is? Oh, oh, oh you got a vending, vending machine. machine. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Okay. Great. Great job. Anyway. All right. All right. Uh, what do we got? New let's people do, now. Let's do videos now. Yeah. Right, we're gonna do videos. People. Because already twenty minutes in the show. We dude. got people. Here we go, my babies. Hey, Chris and Matt, huge fan of the pod. Chris, please come to Minneapolis. I will. So my question revolves around college roommates. I live with two other girls, one who's very laid back and level-headed like myself, and the other who's very sensitive and emotional. Mm. Um, Our sensitive roommate is the type of person to be offended and think everyone hates her if she's not invited to one little thing. Um, And so last week, I went to a hayride with my boyfriend and his friends and invited my laid-back roommate because she's talking to one of his friends, Mm. and our sensitive roommate had plans. Mm. Um, And now she is flying off the handle at me for not inviting her slamming doors in our apartment stomping around oh. sending me nasty text oh. messages obviously mm. so deeper for her yeah. yeah um and i don't really know how to handle it because it's just an extremely hostile place to live right now um should i try and sit down and talk with her uh, she's kind uh, of the type of person where you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't yeah. um and so i'm just kind of like at a loss right now i don't really know what i should do or say or if anything but thanks guys i really appreciate anything I know what to do. Victim mentality, dude. I know what to do. What? She's invisible and nothing she does can even make a sound anymore. So you just <laughs> act like she's not even fucking there. Like it's until the Until she's ready to talk to you about it. Slamming doors and making a fucking scene. Yeah, the others. Just, she's a ghost, dude. So hard. Just That's fucking, so hard to do though. Don't give it, don't give it an inch. You know you did nothing wrong. Don't bend over for this fucking person that is clearly... I don't know if she's spoiled. It's deeper, yeah. She's got is. issues, but yeah. who knows, dude? Like, she's still young. Hopefully, she'll figure it out. A lot of people do at that age. They're like such fucking babies, and all they want is attention. But uh, you're not going to do her any favors by giving like uh, uh, giving like credit. Yeah, where, yeah, where yeah, she yeah. Deserve yeah. it. Yeah. The whole idea of I I can't stand this. The whole idea of you have to invite every friend to everything you ever do That's or terrible, you're yeah. a dick is yeah. unreal. Yeah. Sometimes I don't want to invite David Sullivan. Oh, I don't ever want to invite David right, Sullivan. Right, because yeah. he's a fucking guy who is he, just, you his, know. His skull is physically he's literally too big. He's got a big, big head. He's yeah. a friend with our, of ours. He, he looks, looks like, like Thomas Jefferson. No, yeah, he looks like the guy, what was it, the head? Head, the guy with, in, from MTV? 
Yeah, MP yeah, Sadiq. Yeah, yeah, oddities. Yeah. Um, Thomas Jefferson was the least handsome Sadiq. And so... <laughs> It was Andrew Jackson, not oh, Andrew Jackson on the twenty. Yeah, yeah. Twenty hours. He had gray up. hair, so yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. an insult. Right, yeah. right. So yeah, dude, I don't. It's like, yo, you just got to be like, I didn't. I I invited the chill laid back friend because I wanted to invite her. You were busy anyway, and also I didn't want to invite you. Also, I wanted to have a chill laid back time, not an uptight, yeah, fucking brat time. Yeah, I, I I think honestly, if if you you can have a conversation one time with her, and if this continues. <sighs> It's just going to be one of those situations where you got to, she's out. It sounds like she probably has tried, but to no avail. And if yeah. that's the case, no more. Yeah. She's invisible. That's my advice to you. She is now invisible. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can do that. Pretend like she's the others. Yeah. I am your daughter. There, yeah, that, that's, that's David I, Sullivan. I don't even barely remember that. You don't remember that? I kind of remember that. That was the shit, dude. Yeah. I love the Good oddities. call, though. Thank Good you. Good dig, dig. In Looks just like David Sullivan. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, but you don't have to invite all your fucking friends to the, I mean, you have to invite all your friends all the way to, uh, I got four tickets to the Dodger game. I got to fucking, re I got to do a mass text of 35 people, the first four people. That, it's like, the dude. Micro machines, guys. Yeah, remember, the micro machines guys. Yeah, micro machines is not the real thing. <laughs> but like, I just, I, dude, it's so annoying because like, you just, you invite who you want to invite and that's okay. Remember when you guys. It's always okay. It's so always okay to guys, invite whoever you want to invite. A year and a half, we were in the text chain and a year and a half. You guys, you, one of you guys was like, when are you coming over? And I was like, oh, what are you guys doing? And I was like, game night. I was like, mm. oh, really? And like, you said, yeah, we do game night every week. I didn't even know. For a year mm. and a half, you've been doing game night. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Mm -hmm. Thank you for knowing me that well. Mm -hmm. But like, don't, Yo, you don't. Nobody would ever invite you to a game night. Yeah, because it sucks, dude. No, because and you I know suck. the truth of game No, night. because you suck. No. And you don't play games. I know the truth of game. Oh, I don't play games. Where am I? I don't mean in. <laughs> Where am I, you know? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere where there's a rope. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, dude. Yeah, I just you gotta. She's got to get to step in, dude. Mm -hmm. You move or she moves. You got to get to step in. Get a fucking two bedroom with a chill friend. I mean, that's a bit much. Just ignore her. I know, but well, okay. Until I mean, she could make your life a living hell. I guess, but she's not. She's just she's swung a tantrum. Okay, you know? she keeps swinging tantrums. I'm just saying. Okay. I remember if it doesn't say micro machines, it's not the real thing. <laughs> so let's go to the next one. Now a word from our sponsor, Better Help. Better help. It's one word. Better help like that. Oh. But you can do better help to, you know, really drive it home. I was trying to drive it home. I get stuck uh, focusing on problems instead of solutions. You know, like sometimes my mind gets spinning and uh, how like uh, I don't realize that my mind, my my situations would be better if I had a different mindset. Mm -hmm. Therapy helps me with that. And better help is a great example of a way to do therapy. Uh, now, especially in this day and age, it can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. Uh, so you find your own solutions. Uh, there's no better feeling, trust me. Uh, and the therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. If you're thinking about giving therapy a try, better help is a fantastic great option it's convenient it's accessible it's affordable and entirely online That's you don't have to part. go anywhere no it traffic. comes to you yeah uh get matched with the therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists at any time yeah so if you get a goofball which you won't because better help has good you know vetting system but if you get a goofball for you you get to boom change it immediately yep. uh and but the not battling traffic thing is the best part therapy saves lives period it saved my life. So yep, uh, when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash lifeline today and you will get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash lifeline. Do it. <laughs> you want to read it? Hi, Matt and Chris. I love you and I love Calvin too. Okay, I am extremely embarrassed. I'm a woman in my early 30s and I still live at home with my parents and younger brother. The other night, I was in bed watching some dot 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 naughty videos. Oh boy! Here we go. I had my AirPods connected, of course. What I was completely unaware of was that my oh. phone was also connected to the Bluetooth speaker in my all caps parents' bathroom. I didn't know your phone could be connected. Neither did to I. Do two devices at once, but apparently it can. Crying clown face. My mom, no regular face. Oh, regular crying face. Uh, my mom confronted me the next day to ask if my phone was hooked up to the speaker and I checked and still unaware of the major atrocity said, oh yeah, oh, oops, God. it didn't hit me until she said, I noticed it last night. Dun, 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 shocked face. Oh, God. I want to die. I want to fly to outer space and never return. I want to change my identity and only wear wigs from now on. Wow. What do I do? 
Do I leave it at that? Do I confront her about what exactly she heard? Please help. Shoot me. Love you. No, just honestly, this the, the advice I have is you, you didn't do anything wrong. No, you didn't. You made a mistake by having your parents hear that shit, but you didn't mean to. Um, but like the whole shame of it is like you, you don't need to feel that. That's a very human emotion, but like you don't need to feel that because honestly, it's just sex it's not even sex it's i mean it's sex but it's like naughty videos and you're a fucking grown-up you know yeah she says she's 30 right yeah yeah in I mean, her you're 30s. 30 in your 30s like you're a full-ass adult you can do whatever the fuck Look you at your want your mom directly yeah. in her eyes and say my bean needed attention my what you look at your mom ex right in the eyes and you like say it like Mr. A Mr. Anderson in the fucking Matrix. Say, my bean needed attention. What, what word are you saying? Bean. My bean needed bean? attention. Yeah. What's that? Well, it looks like a bean on your body in between your legs. Like a coffee bean? Okay. No, no. Well, it looks like, yeah. it looks like a coffee but, bean, yeah. But I'm saying there's, it looks like a lentil bean up top. I don't think it looks like a lentil bean. I think it looks like a coffee bean. The actual thing looks like a coffee bean, but I'm saying oh, 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 oh. the lentil bean up top. Lentil bean. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, There's a lentil bean on top of a coffee bean, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, There's just, a big coffee bean. It's like a Russian doll of beans. There's a yeah. there's a big coffee bean, but I'm saying actual sized lentil bean above the Got big it. coffee bean. Got so that's it. the bean that needed attention, really. Got that's it. LL, most pleasure. LL bean. Okay, so <laughs> what you need to do is realize <laughs> that your mom also needed to attend to her bean at some point. Uh, that everyone in the world attends to their beans. That's why in all the old ass fucking religious texts, it says nobody's allowed, God said nobody's allowed to play with their beans. Yeah. Okay. And it should have been everyone love, you know, it's okay to attend to your beans. <laughs> attend to your beans. Wow, that's good. The 11th commandment. And it's okay to attend to your beans. You shall always attend to your neighbor's beans. All the commandments yeah. have to do with their neighbor, you know? Yeah, 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 I know. That's so weird. Just make sure you are not hooked up to your neighbor's Bluetooth as well. Yeah. Only be hooked up to your own Bluetooth when, it attend when being attentive to your bean. Or just attending to your beans, right? I think I got the language right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it doesn't really matter because it's not real, but yeah. Uh, okay, anyway, okay. just own it, dude. You're fucking... Attended to your bean and you got caught. I needed Boo to lightly mom. move my bean around. Also, what's with the mom? Yeah, I noticed. Like, what a dick, I know, dude. dude. She's just, she got all pent up. She needs to fucking hang with her bean a little bit, dude. You should That's send a her the video, uh, airdrop the video to her and say, yep. bean attendance is required. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. Bean right. attendance required, comma, mom. Yeah. Re <laughs> bean attendance in the email. <laughs> <laughs> and she sees it to other people and gets she's just so bad with technology oh no all right <laughs> yeah for sure all right i'm gonna take a pure spectrum gummies dude huh keeps me level-headed baby oh you know it's always been one of my least favorite things that you do keeps when, me you, level when you put something in your mouth you go how keeps me level-headed babies shit <laughs> pure spectrum cbd okay. the link is in the show notes go down click it Hit Lifeline for 10% off of all your CBD needs, my babies. And also, dude, let me tell you this. Okay. Put it in the show description because Chris didn't er fucking last week. Hey, yes, dude. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's do it. Next one. Hey, Chris and Matt. Just Lauren beautiful. from New Hampshire. Big fan of the podcast. Thank you. So Thank my you. question is, what are your thoughts on people putting their feet uh, at out car windows as oh. passengers? I think it's completely okay. I love doing it on back roads, yeah, uh, just kind of like vibing. Uh, my brother-in-law and she I are it. in a debate. He th thinks it's unacceptable. Wow. Um, and I think his only valid argument is that it's a safety concern. Well, of course. Of course. Um, so driving. But I think, you know, you run the risk of getting into an accident every single time you get into a car anyways. So why not just live your best life and uh, then just not be fearful you're going to get into a car accident every single time? I, um, I think he has an aversion to feet he's not admitting to. Uh, in what society, I feel like feet, it's very divisive. Oh, this is you either fetishize thing, huh? them or you have like a strong aversion to them. And I Which think is this question is kind of right down the middle. Um, 
I think it's fine putting your feet yeah. out the window. Chris, am I not allowed in the log cabin if I like no, putting my okay. well, feet gotta, out the window? What do you guys think? You got to be your true self. But let me tell you something. There's a few things wrong with it. I First have something all, to say. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, normally, I'd say do whatever the fuck you want because that's what I say to everything. Mm. But honestly, the safety concern is real. I was I was driving in my friend's car. I was in the passenger seat of my friend's car. And this is in high school. Mm. This is Nick Marquand's car. Oh, boy, Nick. Nick Fartqueef, remember? Uh, and my yeah, arm readers. was out the window just like yeah. doing whatever the fuck. Mm-hmm. And I was telling him a story. And as I'm telling him a story, I, I'm, I'm articulating with yeah. my hands. Mm-hmm. And I bring my hand in and just to do something mm-hmm. like that. And right when I bring my hand in, a car on Foothill Boulevard, a car was backing out of a parking spot and just sh- ripped off his rearview window. And it was like a split second I after this. I brought my arm in. I remember So this. like... Of course, do whatever you want, but yeah. when your foot gets knocked off by a pickup truck backing out on Foothill Boulevard, I, I honestly love that country song. Only, it's only your fault. When your foot gets knocked off on Foothill Boulevard while someone's reversing, yeah, yeah, keep your hands inside, ding a down, ding a down. Wow. Keep your legs inside, ding a down. So ding-a-down. shitty. People either have a virgin to feed or they fetishize them. Ding-a down, ding down. By the way, people who fetishize feet are just niche, niche. Yeah, 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 I get it. What I do is I put both out. I go in the center. F- Farting. I go in the center bitch seat as i call it so I uncomfortable bitch, and i go both out but here's the thing dude i think it is a safety concern and i don't really like john may in high school used to be like i don't wear a seat belt i'm driving if i die i die you know what i mean yeah, that's and it's so like dumb. that's not no dude so i you know it is a safety concern you got to be on the lookout if you have the foot out you got to be fucking wary you know pull it in if a car's going to hit it but also this is the annoying thing mm. doing it when you're driving okay i understand if you're flexible and you know me dude i'm a right. flexible string beam right so i drive and i right. keep it out and I rested on the fucking side mirror. But I will tell you this. If you're the backseat, it's annoying as fuck. Because, dude, you're fucking driving. And then all the, you got the fucking foot right there. So that's why. If he has an aversion of feet, he looks at the foot. It's right there. That's fucking kind of annoying. It also, you could think it's a little gross, too. It's great, exactly. Well, if you have no... I mean, she probably... You know, chicks, they don't wear... They wear, like, flip-flops sometimes and shit. I mean, so do guys. Yeah, but no. But chicks love to do that kind of shit on, like, the back road. You know what I mean? The back road, imagine a girl wearing a, a closed-toed shoe on a back road with a foot out. There's no way. It never happened in, in the world. No, they do because they don't want to get snake bit. No. I said yes. They have boots, but they put them on out. I'm telling you, dude, the most casual... Women love the casual shit, dude. I said yes. Okay. Okay? Uh, and that's that. Okay. okay. I just think may, may, maybe do it, you know, not so so much maybe if, get it out the way in a parked car <laughs> if he has an aversion to feet he thinks they're gross you should listen to him because that's disrespectful if he's if driving that's not his yeah if that's not his reason then fuck him keep your feet out the window all wow. day wow well, you laid the hammer down huh yeah it's either or it's like the foot aversion or fetish all right it's okay i get it extreme one way it or is those. cool Stop it. it is cool that i can do that though huh yes i mean it's it's like fine it's kind of okay it's on the cool side it's on the cool side yeah okay next Hey, Matt and Chris, my name's Evan from the Sacramento area. Nice guy. And my question is about hobbies. So (laughs) basically I'm of the mindset that if I'm not immediately good at something, I'm not going to continue pursuing it. Um, And so that means that I don't have a lot of things that I'm interested in. Yeah. So do you guys think that I should keep pursuing something even though it's difficult and I don't like it? immediately but i might find out that i like it down the line once i get good at it Mm. or should i just cast a huge net and try a bunch of things out and figure out what i'm immediately good at and Ah. just pursue those things uh let me know what you guys think that's interesting i didn't think that's what he was going to say as a second option it's a good question um i would say because you're a person and you have tastes you have probably have a better sense than we do about what you might like yeah. So if if you're bad or good at something, you take to it right away or not, do you like the thing? Does it seem like a lot of fun if you were to master it? If that's the case, then stick with it, even if you suck. It's not like, to me, it's not either or. It's like the opposite of the previous question. There's so much fluctuation mm-hmm. and possibility here. If you are good at it or not, if the thing seems really, really fun mm. to you and what your brain likes and doesn't like. But he's so apathetic about shit he's saying, you know? 
he doesn't like that many things because he feels like he's not good at, at things. Or he, well, here's the other thing. But too. you get good at things the more you do them. Is my point. I know, but you also have to look at it this: Are you a perfectionist? Because like, you know, <clears throat> I, I'm good at stand up, and like, I I was good in the beginning. But if I go back and look at videos of me, it's terrible. It's right? interesting. It's interesting. So like, so like, was I good? I mean. Well, technically, no. I but- remember you being good, but now when I watch videos of you in the beginning, I think you suck. No. So now that would be rude, right? But no. No, I know, I'm I, just joking. I, I know you're joking, okay. but uh, like- but I wanted them to know I was joking. I, I, okay, that's sweet of you, but let's, you know, it's okay. Oh, um, so upset. But yeah, no, I watched video of me doing stand-up in the first six months, like af- like years after Straight I started stand-up. Straight up open mic? No, it was a show. It was like one of the- Oh, okay, okay. And I was like, oh my- Really? I turned it off. I couldn't watch it. So like, you know, maybe don't be so hard on yourself is my advice. Yes, that's good advice, dude. That's always the best advice. But don't be so hard on yourself, man, and try some things. But don't, this whole cast in a wide net, like people who are like, you know, I want to try and experience different things to find out who I am. Those people are fucking weird as shit, Yeah, man. I agree, I agree. Like, dude, you kind of should know what you like already. If you got hair on your face, oh, well, you yeah, should know a, a few things that you like. You that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, dude, I don't know, man. I don't think, be one of those dudes that's like, yeah, I got to fucking walk barefoot all the way to, you know what I mean? But what's the deal with people not wanting to do things unless they're good at them? Like, that's that to me is on the same, it's not the same thing, but it's on the same wavelength as trying to get a teacher fired because the class is too hard. Mm. It's like, the thing is the thing. You want to be good at it, work yeah. to being good at it. If it interests you, keep working at it, you motherfuck. What do you just like only want to do things that you're good at? That's so boring. Wow. Oh. Also, that there's a, thing, a boring person. There's something to be led, there, said about like your life leading you to something that you like. And like, I have a buddy who would like do a lot of animation and it never really like got successful off it, but he loved, you know him, but he does like a, a lot of animation. Oh, yeah, yeah. And not, not your friend, though. No, I, I know. know. So, and, um, and he never really got, he was very good at it, never made a career out of it. And now he like, he's always liked movies and shit. And now he likes to like, he makes these like prints of like themed old newspaper. Like I could say like 90s horror movies. And he's got a bunch of newspaper articles like for Scream, mm. fucking Friday the 13th or whatever. And he makes them and you could get them framed and like he makes prints of them and sells mm. them. Dude, and he loves doing it. Mm-hmm. And he's like, it took me a while to find out my passion, but this is awesome. People mm-hmm. pay me to do this shit. Mm-hmm. I love doing it mm-hmm. and I'm happy. Mm-hmm. And if this guy was out here trying fucking racquetball and rock climbing, it would have taken even longer to him to get to this fucking thing. It's so time consuming too. Yeah, you got to hone yeah. in on things you might like. Right. Not just all things. Right, right. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So that's what's up, I think. Yeah. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah. Next one. Yeah. What's happening, Leah Brothers? Nice. My question is about friendship. Basically, Kinda long story so short, I had to make a decision to get the vaccine. Kind of to to make a move in my place of work to try and increase my money because I just got engaged a year ago. Nice. Congratulations. Um, and also have two uh, daughters. Nice. So, Cute. you know, times are getting, they were getting a little rough for me. Um, oh. New York has been rough with the whole pandemic stuff. Yeah. Um, especially in the service industry is where I work. So yeah. anyways, um, so a friend of mine basically implied and believed that getting the vaccine was like getting, an STD like HIV and the vials and what? you know all kinds oh. of crazy shit and you know he basically took me off everything and basically ghosted me and him and his bro were supposed to be in my wedding and what? I just I've tried to try I've wanted oh, to take crazy. the high road but I just don't know what to do you know so would love to know how one would handle this because he got the vaccine his friend won't talk to him anymore I, is, is that, that what he said that's what he was saying that's okay. cr- that's crazy, Here's bro. the thing about the vaccine and the pandemic in general. We know this firsthand, and I know many, if not almost all people probably have a, some degree yeah. of this in their life firsthand. Mm-hmm. The pandemic drove so many people off the deep end. Yep. And it was a real like glimpse into how many people just in general on any given day, any given moment in time, how many people are right there on the cusp of losing their fucking minds and all they need is a little push and that pandemic was that little push and some people just fucking lose their minds and they're gone forever. Little push. That's why they say don't push me. We have one of their fucking to try to tie in your own shit. But we have one of our greatest friends in the world that this happened to. Mm -hmm. I know so many people with their own stories like this. And dude, that's what happened to your fucking friend. It, yeah. He, they, it's, it's like not they lose you. their minds. That sucks. And they're just, now they're fucking different people. Yeah, it sucks. It's you gotta crazy, let them man. Go. 
the amount of time the amount of time that i like spent trying to like be friends and make sure that these kinds of people were okay it's just like round here wow. it's always wow, wow, wow. on my mind that's what you know what i mean i know what you i know what you round mean. here Okay, because he looked at the guy in Counting Crows. Counting Crows, Adam Duritz or whatever the fuck his name is. Dude, Adam Duritz. It's always on my mind. When I was in college, Adam Duritz tried to fuck my girlfriend so many times, so many different ways. Oh my God, I bet yeah. that was a long December, <laughs> one more night in Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. I'd love to fuck ya. <laughs> Even though you have a boyfriend round here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. But okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. But I could be in the Crowning Crows. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, didn't one one time he he fucking actually I'm I'm completely making that up. Wow. Oh well, it sounded good. good. Sounded good. Um, um right. no, but I I yeah, it's not that sucks, bro. The but advice, if there is any, is that try to get definitely take no responsibility for this yourself. This is all on those other people, and try to get used to the fact that the pandemic this has happened yeah. to one, in one way or another to everyone all the same people have been touched one way or another by the crazy people in ways like this and you're not alone you it's drunk everyone who you're not alone uh <laughs> you so many people have been through this okay you should honestly <clears throat> if you're looking at it in the life rips way i always say life rips go fucking thank the pandemic go thank the pandemic for cutting these people out yeah. of your life yeah. in a quicker fashion than it would have yeah. if they, they, if if this virus didn't exist, dude. Yeah. So walk, it would have been something if it yeah, wasn't this. Yeah, yeah. it would have yeah. been something, and it would have taken longer. It would have caused you more stress. I get that the stress is palpable now, but go outside and say thank you, COVID. Wow. If you have a friend that has, I'm telling you, do it too. Film it, send it in. Go outside and say COVID. Thank you. Get on your knees like Brendan fucking Fraser in school ties. Wait till it rains. Thank you, COVID. Wow. Wow. That's a good movie. Do that shit, man. Because it's like fucking it. Yo, the you cut. Hey, COVID. Did you make enemy? Did you did you fuck my friends up or did you fucking expose my enemies? Thank you, COVID. How much would you have fucking how much would it have sucked if you, this guy was in your wedding and then afterwards yeah. Oh, some other shit happened and then you would have had these pictures mm -hmm. and you would have been looking at them all lonely just yeah. like one more night in hollywood right so right. get out there and go thank you for exposing my enemies covid well such a crazy person <laughs> like if you saw someone do that thank you for exposing oh, my listener. enemies covid lifeline listener huh any <laughs> anybody that says exposing my enemies in general is a fucking absolute Com nutcase completely disagree dude that's why me and tupac are on the same team and you're on a fucking different side dude. okay 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 now let's move on we got a face blur minecraft hi chris and matt a huge oh. fan of the podcast thank you um i wanted to seek your advice because i recently started seeing a new guy a couple months ago i'm 33 and uh things have been going great except for the fact that the last few times we've had sex, he has lost his erection, mm. like, mid-sex. Mm. Um, obviously, initially, I thought, oh, gosh, he's not attracted to me. Mm -hmm. He swears up and down, that's not it. Mm -hmm. um, that just biologically, this happens sometimes mm -hmm. to men, which I totally understand. However, I, you know, my needs aren't being met. Mm -hmm. So I would, was wondering, how do I bring this up to him? to maybe get this resolved. Um, I don't want to emasculate him. I want to support him. And um, I really care about him. So I don't want to hurt his feelings. So how would you suggest I bring this up to him? It's a new relationship. Should I be concerned? Thanks, guys. It's a little alarming that, that that's happening. That, that It's a little alarming. What's that mouth do? <laughs> that that's happening so early in a relationship. Yeah. But get fucking viagra yeah like, but also what that mouth do well and what exactly does this mean well you know if he's getting soft in the middle of yeah. doing the horizontal mambo yeah. you turn to him and you say what that mouth do and then what does that mean let's see how it works oh, the like go down region. on me yeah and and uh, yeah well, that's definitely true yeah what the mouth do? yeah okay so say what that mouth do what that mouth yeah do. so but so but also i let me say this dude if i'm really into 
a, a woman, right? Like this has happened my whole life. If I'm really into her, it's more of a thing and it's uh, uh, more stress or pressure for me to perform well. And then I get inside my head yeah. and that could happen to me. For sure. Sadeeper, now I have intimacy issues. Nice to meet you, intimacy. Let's have issues together. Wow. But you know, I, you know, that, that does happen. So I would trust him and give him the benefit of the doubt. It is not you, right? I can even tell with your pixely face. It's not you, <laughs> right? But um, but yeah, maybe kind of like, right? Like just, it's it's a tough thing to bring up, but maybe just kind of just gently turn over to him after you have sex one time and just be like, sweetie, what what that mouth do? You know, or say like, how's your tongue game? Or whatever the fuck, you know All what right. I mean? Anyway, I think what you should lap do up, is, right? you could be you're like, not going to see You want to lap it up? You're not going to emasculate him if you came at him the way you just described You're not going to emasculate him if you came. I'll tell you that you're much. You're talking about <laughs> oops. All right? How's the tongue game though? Like this with the co covers? Just like this. Can you lap it up? So gross though. Lap it up like a fucking dog. Yeah. I've got a dog bowl. bowl in between my legs. Stupid. What's up, Doberman? I got a fucking vanilla bean between my legs or whatever. <laughs> uh, I have a lentil bean on top of my large coffee bean. bean. Oh. Yeah. Um, no, I think first of all, that's a good idea. If Make he out loses his bean? erection, he can still go down on you. He still has a mm -hmm. mouth. He has mm -hmm. other ways of making you, uh, giving, bring you, pl delivering pleasure to you. Robot. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> I also think think that you're not going to necessarily emasculate him he knows what's happening he knows you know what's happening all you got to do is like mention it it's like the more you don't mention it the weirder it gets yeah but bring it up maybe it happens to him maybe it's something that ha has happened to him in the past it's a recurring thing not talking about it at all is a surefire way to get it all fucked up yeah you'll get it all fucked up uh, then it won't even get hard in the beginning it'll yeah. just be like viagra, soft try yeah. to shoehorn it in viagra is an option for sure uh, there are other more natural ways of trying to keep an erection, like, uh, but yeah, definitely it. have him start going down on you because yeah. if he's losing his fucking heart on, what else? You, you got to go down. Mm -hmm. You got to go down south. Wow. Make her still happy. Like one of my favorite things is to see what a guy's mouth game is like. So maybe we can get into that and maybe don't mention the fucking soft shit. You know. Mm. One of my you know one of my favorite things is two of my favorite things, honestly, badminton. And seeing what the guy's mouth game is. Did you want to try any of those? <laughs> I have rackets, but also, also you have a mouth. what kind of guy loses his heart on and isn't like, let me attempt at doing the mouth game? I mean, probably many guys. He's probably insecure about trying a mouth game. Maybe maybe his mouth game, is, maybe he didn't do it yet. We don't know how new it is, right? If it's if it's like, it, you know, if mm -hmm. it's like two or three times or, you know, it's just a mm -hmm. new relationship. So mm -hmm. maybe if they're exclusive, it's been a bit, but, yeah. and also maybe it's the condom. Maybe, you know, some guys can't do it with the condom. That's true. But Although he would have, he would have said that you if that was, she would have said that if that was the case. Probably doing it wrong. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Everybody's got a little dirt bag in them. All right. Okay. But, uh, yeah, dude, tell him to go down on you. Yep. Fucking full stop. End of story, end of sentence, end of paragraph, end of fucking short story, end of collection of short stories, end of book, end of book binding. <laughs> <laughs> that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard dude all right okay next one matthew modine so i was in band of brothers what do i do if what's up man chris so i got a little situation here it's gonna be so I'm bad i'm currently man. talking yep. to this girl that i work with matthew modine no. i know bad, bad idea, bad idea. Yeah. but the problem is i'm 23 uh, i was in age of america 31 okay okay Outside of that, we get along really well and everything's going pretty smoothly. We've only been talking like three or four months, but recently she's been talking about wanting to have a kid. Oh my God. Now, I probably don't want to have a kid until, you know, a, a good 10 years probably, mm. but I don't think she's willing to wait 10 years. Well, I mean, who the fuck yeah. is, you know? I don't know. With that, with that being <laughs> said, should I cut things off? Sweetie. Should I keep just going with the flow and see where things head? I don't know. We work together, so that could stir, stir up some stuff in the it office. It already did, bro. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, I doubt it. She's a sweetheart, yeah. but uh, could be. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Also, they haven't even had sex yet, and she's already talking about having kids. Oh, with they them? haven't had sex hey. yet. No, they have. It's been a few months. Run! Oh, oh yeah, they've oh. had sex. Yeah. I thought he said they were texting for a few months. Oh no, no, it's been happening for a few months. Okay, yeah. well then they're already bro you already made the mistake, so fucking whatever at this point. But um. I mean, you have a lot of money because you were in Cutthroat Island, but uh, right, yeah. yeah, I don't know. It was, I think, it was great in Full Metal Jacket. Is I think truth. that that was the one I was trying to think of. So uh, I think that, I mean, you know, you can't be like, how's 41 sound as a mother? You know, <laughs> she would literally, her head would explode. Yeah. Can you just wait 10 years? Props like, to her. Yeah. 
Props to her for being up front, though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's absolutely mm-hmm. true. Yeah. So she was up front to you, so you should be up front to her, I yeah, think. That, you, know? you, you owe her that. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. just say, like, yo, I'm not going to want kids for another 10 years. You want to ride this out or not? I totally get it. But also, uh, it's probably best if you guys just don't keep it a casual. If you keep it a casual. But let thing. me tell you something for real. This guy thinks. I don't want kids for another 10 years. You don't know. You don't dude. know. Yeah, you don't know. In two years, you could change your mind. Right. In, in 10 years, you could still not want kids. There's no right way to right. approximate when you think you will want children, when you think you, you know, you'll be ready. There's no way to know. Yeah. In fact, you might not ever be ready. And then you might have a kid and the day it comes, you think, oh my God, I'm so ready. I can't fucking wait for this. These things are not knowable. So get that part out of your fucking That's mind. True. If you really are into this woman and she's really into you and you guys agreed to not let it fuck up the workplace, you already started doing it. You might as well see it through to the end. To cut it now and be like, no, 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 we work together. You already dipped the toe and you're fucked. That's you're true. Fucked good point. What a good fucking you do point, man. So just keep going. Be a good guy. Be upfront with her like she has been with you mm-hmm. and be fucking honest and see where it goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Good good job, dude. Good, yeah. good, 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 good um, what do you call it? It's called advice. Okay. Hey, what's up guys? It's Alex from Boston. Um, I just hit record and I took a turn and now I'm staring directly at the sun. I can't see anything. But um, my question is basically, uh, I have a new job and it's work from home, forever remote, and my lease is gonna end in June and I basically have the opportunity to work from anywhere and I can't decide where to go. So I figured I'd ask you guys, Chris, you travel a lot. Um, Matt, I'm sure you've done some traveling. So I'm just curious, within the U.S. or maybe even Europe, if you could Ooh. work from a home office anywhere, wow. where would you do it? Oh, wow. Thanks. Wow. Damn, uh, dude. Three years ago, I would have said L.A. Um, uh, anywhere. If you, if you could, here's the thing. If yeah. you could be anywhere and have a job that you like, that's tough, dude. That's so many. There's so many cool places. What would you do? Shanghai. No, come on. Um, Europe, he said, not China. What? He said Europe. Well. The United States or Europe. Okay, fine. Um, I would maybe, dude. I would maybe go to pimp and pimp and ask Montreal. Montreal's great. Montreal's a fucking Montreal's amazing, great if you beautiful deal with the city. Cold. Yeah, Montreal's great. Um, yeah, true. Vancouver's it gets very cold. well. No, Vancouver's a little. The thing about Canada is you don't know where it's going to be in five years. What do you mean? It's gonna... They're fucking changing faster than we are, bro. They're so woke. They're crazy. I mean, what? All, all right, but that's not a reason to not I go guess to fucking not. Montreal yeah, I guess if you not. want to live there. I guess not. Um. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, there's a lot of really great places. Nashville's great. Boise is great. I mean, there's places you wouldn't even think of, you know? Boise. Um, well, you know a lot of different cities. Well, where would you go? If you were just a single guy starting brand a new. A single guy? Um, and, and location didn't matter. Like, being in LA yeah. and being a comic, that wasn't the thing. Like, it was just total clean slate. Austin's cool. I mean... You know, it's growing rapidly, though. You always got to be careful about that. I would maybe want to be someplace that's like as close to country, city and country being yeah. as close to, as possible to one another, which actually in many ways is L.A., but L.A.'s right now is not the time for L.A. Yeah, I know it's not. It probably will be again in the near future, but right now is not. I'm trying to think of places. Uh, Florida's awesome because of the weather. What about any place in Georgia that's dope? What about Raleigh? A lot. Raleigh's really nice. Yeah. Raleigh. You know what's really nice is um Raleigh, yeah. Raleigh's yeah. nice. Raleigh, Raleigh's North really Carolina? nice. Yeah. Uh I would say fucking Montreal would be mine though, for real. Really? I really love Montreal. Jesus. I like love Montreal. Toronto. And whenever fucking I take awesome. a flight away from Montreal, I have a crazy Zenny Island trip. Right, right, right. Toronto's awesome. Fun. Um I'm trying to I think I've never like, been to Toronto. Really? Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, that is weird. Um, where else have I been and where am I going? Oh, I mean, so introspective. Hmm. I could go anywhere. Colorado? Places in It's Colorado? okay, yeah. It's not my Denver? thing, but I like Denver, yeah. But it's, it's not my thing, though. Colorado's so, really pretty. If you yeah, like it's really, really shit. pretty. And the weather's bad, but not like... Mm. It has seasons, you know? Where else... Chicago is like fucking crazy right Ice, now. Icebergs, though, dude, it gets too cold there for me. I'll be in Chicago February twenty fifth. Plug himself. Um, New York's cool, but it's expensive. It's a little too much. Yeah, dude. I wouldn't go to New York. I mean, I lived there 18th. for a few years already. But yeah. if you haven't lived in New York, actually, I would say maybe go to try New mm. York mm. because it's some a place some people just truly fall in love with. I loved it while I was there. Fort Lauderdale's cool. Really Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Cut me off. Yeah. Mm. Um, 
Fort Lauderdale, really? Mm-hmm. So yeah, you like, like Florida? That. I'm not a Florida guy. I'm looking guy. at different places. Uh, I'm not Mr. Florida. You like like Arizona and shit though. Oh yeah. Oh, Phoenix and Tempe is fucking awesome. <laughs> I love it. Phoenix. What, I'm, I'm looking at places. What a loser. Uh, Phoenix and Tempe is awesome. Um, um what about like? Uh, well, that kind of costs a bit of money. Did he say he's been, been rich? No, he didn't. But, okay. I mean, you know. Everybody does say Nashville. I think Nashville might be the move for everybody. The problem with places like Nashville and Austin is they're very, they're really growing really fast and you don't know what the fuck it's going to become. That's true, yeah. But yeah. Uh, what did I say? Fort Lauderdale is fucking awesome. All right. All the places in the fucking United States for, Europe. Man, for chilling oh. for a single dude, Fort Lauderdale is awesome. Oh, and Europe? Uh, Shanghai. Uh, Singing. Uh, Madrid. Okay, you know. All right, next one. Wow. Guys so gets serious. In, guy gets in so many fights. <laughs> What's up, man? Chris, coming at you poolside from Dubai. Wow. Oh, I had yeah. a question mainly for Chris. If I recall correctly, on the congratulations pod, you used to always complain about lower back problems. Mm. You say things along the lines of, does my back really hurt? Yes. <laughs> Can I barely move? Yes. Does life still rip? Yes. Yeah. Worst impression ever. And um, That's good. Wanted to just understand how you got rid of that, because I've been trying everything. Still has, still have pretty consistent lower back issues, mm. and wanted to know how you resolve that, because you don't really complain about it anymore. Mm. And as a final note, we moving up. Look at that, bro. God, that is Billy. that where Tom Cruise ran down? I don't know. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wow. a famous. That's like the tallest building in the world right now, isn't wow, it? Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. It's, um, so just took the video to do that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, didn't give a yeah, fuck I don't have back, back pain at all. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, I um, I don't. Yeah, I. You know what? You, you know what? The unfortunate thing is, you gotta wait. That's back. That that's back shit. Yeah. You just gotta wait. Yeah. Like I waited. I th I thought about having surgery. I I Dude, had really? one. It was that bad. It, I had a, a procedure done where they injected something, and if I just waited it out, it would have been fine. And it's fine now. Um. But, you know, I still do. I guess I still feel it. I completely, I completely forgot about it, though. I had severe middle back pain, like just yeah. right off my spine, yeah. under, behind my shoulder blade. Yeah. It fucking went away. Yeah. yeah but for I had that long? shit for years. Yeah, I know, me too. You, you, stretching helps for sure. I don't Massages know what's... helped the fuck out of me. Like consistent, weekly, like mm. deep tissue, mm. Thai, like crazy miniature Thai woman who are the strongest people on earth. Yeah. Just like elbows, just fucking like... Like pur yeah. purple people eat or whatever the I fuck was you were saying. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, but that's what's up. Yeah, I don't know. I think that it's like um, you got to uh, just stretch and wait. I don't know what's wrong with you. If you actually have something wrong, if it's yeah. not just yeah. a muscle yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. then get it looked at and an x-ray and shit. Like if you crunched your discs and shit. I mean, if it's a bone thing, good luck, yeah, dude. It's never you're a bone thing, forever. though. It's never a bone thing, though. But if it's a spine, you're fucked forever, yeah, but, dude. but the guy... I think he's fucked forever. <laughs> Uh, uh yeah, yeah no know, he's man. just get deep massages by fucking miniature really strong Thai women. all right well you know I that's what that's what helped me dude okay. i'm telling you but i don't know if the race matters but I no mean, it does because that's okay. where they practice it and get Thai good massages, at it i know yeah right yeah um so anyway that's what you got to do and also wait time is your friend wait it out uh speaking of time in one week uh no, no in no, no, no. four days i guess wednesday uh october 19th yep. Matt's birthday show. Yep. Watchlifeline.com. The link is under here in the comments. You can do our join our live show and get tickets. 6 p.m. Pacific, October 19th. Watchlifeline.com. We're going to be taking your calls live. We're going to be talking with you. We're going to get in-depth and fucking you can get advice that way. And have back and forth with you and us and special guests and sign merch and surprise other things yes booyah booyah and booyah yep there we go so that's what's up go get your lifeline merch at uh, watchlifeline.com and uh, support the show we love it you guys have been great go to chrislea.com for um, tickets for my tour and peace out and go to mattelia.com for your private sessions with me I, I, I don't like you doing that I, I know I don't like it <laughs>